All right, guys, we're down looking to do uh, furnace replacements. Uh, we're in the back corner of the basement, uh, not a walkout. Everything will have to come through the stairs, which are just around the corner to the left there. Uh, this old comfort maker is coming out. It's about 30 years old. It's kind of an odd size. It's uh, about 48 inches tall. It's just underneath of a C-width. It's like 19 and a half inches wide. So the new unit that's coming out, Probably, I'm probably going to try to order a C-width because this coil turned sideways here is exactly 21 inches wide. Um, so that'll be a nice smooth transition. But obviously we're going to be, even with the base, we're going to be about eight inches short. So we'll just need to um, kind of rewrap that uh, that bottom half in between the furnace and the coil. We do have a flue liner in place. It's tagged here. Uh, this is a five uh, by, f well, it's a five inch going into a four inch transition down to the water heater. And then we'll just have to have a five inch transition to a four inch here for the uh, furnace. Um, one other thing we're gonna do is the humidifier on the back here it needs to be replaced. Um, just pull that all off. This sheet metal here is in pretty bad shape. Probably need to seal all that again. And then I'm kind of thinking humidifier may be better off mounted over here. This is about 18 inches wide. So you got a nice spot right here. You can put the humidifier and then run the bypass over to the plenum. Um, the bottom half of this return, because we're wanting to get a 1210 box in here. Um, this is 20 by 18. It's about 32 inches tall here. I think what I'll do is I'll order just a, a straight 20 by 18 by 32. And then you can make this transition right here to flare out to the 20, um, 20 by 25 on the filter housing. I think that'll be easier than trying to manipulate this down you know skinnier and wider at the same time so we'll just take that straight down to the floor and then just build your transition right here um drains are on the floor gas lines on the left shut off need to redo that um yeah it should be about it anything else i've missed will be in the checklist for you so just reference that